every day. It's, and it's just like anything. The brilliant thing is, I didn't really go into this with the neuroscience, but basically just as one day you can't play the piano and then you know you practice for two months solidly every day, 20 minutes, guess what? You suddenly get quite good at the piano, right? Mm -hmm. Because you've literally fired those neurons and they start to connect. They wire together. They become the new normal. The body recognizes, the mind literally physically changes its structures inside to help you facilitate learning to play the piano. And exactly the same thing with um, being more calm and more peaceful is that you can train the, literally the mind to become more calm and more peaceful. Yeah, Great. and I know that Thank from you. personal experience. You know? yeah. yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, okay, so a couple more questions if you've got, if you've got a bit of time. Yeah. Um, so, okay, Zainab asked, uh, how do you deal with stubborn students? <laughs> well, I think again, in this context, not just in this context, generally. it's I think it's absolutely important that you allow them to opt out. OK, and mm -hmm. that that they opt out. But the the uh, the caveat mm -hmm. with that is that they just don't then mess it up for everyone else. OK, so yeah. it's like if you don't want to close your eyes, you know, if you don't want to do that, that's fine. But just sit quietly for a minute. And funnily enough, um, them just sitting quietly is already enough because they're now already doing it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so sometimes you can sort of say, look, you can imagine that you're in a bubble, okay? So you respect other people's bubble, if you're in a physical space, you know, respect that you're in a bubble, you don't try and poke somebody or whisper to them or anything. Just allow them to have their experience, just as you're having your experience. Mm -hmm. Keep the ex exercises short. Um, I would be a little persistent, okay? Don't give up straight away, because it is unusual. But what starts to happen is that they start to go, do you know what, actually, before we start, can we just stop and do some breathing? Because they feel it, right? They feel it like we do. We don't like to feel all stressed out and anxious. We like to feel calm and prayer. So they start to really benefit it. And, you know, it's an teacher that said, you know, I'd start the <laughs> So, so yeah, we, we actually do the exercise But yeah, when they're free, the Yeah, for sure, cheers. Um, it, uh, you've, I think you've spoken about a few techniques, but it's quite a specific situation from Kakruna here. Um, they've had a, a, an issue when they when they take tests, when they do exams, and I suppose sort of high stress scenarios, potentially mm. high stress scenarios. Um, they're generally worried and afraid. Um, is, there, is, is, is there anything specifically they can do in that particular moment if they're in an exam? Yeah, time well, situation? I mean. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the, the, I, the breathing is really key because it's a problem the system, as we've been. You know, we, and we can start the deep breathing, and that just calms everything down. And when we do that, there's, a, there's a, the, an image that we have the amygdala, the whole prefrontal cortex, the thinking part of the brain, you know, suddenly gets flipped out of the way. And so we're in stress mode. And when we're in stress mode, we can't calm ourselves down and bring that the thing that we've learned to the fore so then becoming present notice the size we did noticing mm. oh there's stress here oh there's anxiety ah coming into the breath being the feet on the floor beautiful and then there's another one which is you know really simple you breathe you take your hand and you breathe in and you breathe out you breathe in you breathe out you breathe in you breathe out and there's lots going on there. You're breathing, you're focusing on something else. It's a physical experience as well. And that okay. can just be enough to go, right, let's just cut this spiraling mind and come in. Or another one is this, the petal practice, where, you again, it's the same idea. You, you focus on the, on the hand and you breathe in and you breathe out. And you just imagine it's like a flower opening and closing. And there's something really calm about just doing that for literally be like five rounds mm. and go, right, <sighs> <laughs> Stop the mind. Great. Okay, I think that's uh, um, Thank you, everyone, for all of your questions. I'm sorry we couldn't answer all of them. Um, 
but yeah obviously I'm, I'm going to say it again thank you so much Emma for all the time and effort you put into this talk and for, for joining us today yeah, um, thank you pleasure uh, also thank you to the wonderful Federica she's always somewhere you know she is she's somewhere. <laughs> no she thank you very much Federica you're fantastic as always thanks so much for uh, for organizing this and, and making it happen um, and also thank you to all the teachers thank you all of you for being such wonderful participants um, and showing such a keen interest um, in the webinar thank you so much for coming yeah brilliant. Right, so um, I've had the question, I've seen the question a few times come up. Oh, there's a couple more things here. Emma, did you want to say anything about this slide? I was just, it was just in case somebody wanted to ask about uh, another specific practice. I mean, this will be in the PDF, so if you get it, you can have a look at it yourself. But hmm. we're, it's kind of reiterating what we've done before, awareness, notice how you're feeling, breathing in, counting the breaths, because it gives the mind something to actually do. But hmm. also, if it, um, so this is happening in the classroom. This, this, you know, when ABC is enough, then this is to be able to calm them. And finally, E, the expressing yourself. So that in a, now in a calm way, you can come back and you can go, right, this is what was happening. And I tell you what, this works for five-year-olds and it works for 50-year-olds. Okay, it's just a kind of A, B, C, D, E, of how to get yourself out from that very high place of stress back into not only calm but also being able to move into maybe discussing something you know maybe something does need to change something does need to happen but it comes from a calm place not a not an angry stressed place so yes. it was just that cheers Anna. thank you um, okay, so we've had the question a couple of times uh, and also uh, about your slides, Emma, and the PDF that you mentioned. So in case you, um, in case you, so Amra, we just had the question again. So the certificate will be with you within 14 working days to your email address that you gave us, uh, along with the slides from Emma's presentation. Um, so you will get that all to you within 14 working days. You don't need to do anything. Just wait, be patient. Maybe check your spam folder sometimes. It might go into that, into your junk folder. So, um, yeah, it will all come to you. Don't panic. It's coming. <laughs> the final um, irony. <laughs> 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 I'm stressed. I haven't got the stress reduction tools. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the webinar you've just seen from Emma um, is part of a larger program that we're running at the moment. So um, it's called All Inclusive Back to School. Uh, and the purpose of it is to provide you with the help, guidance, resources, uh, knowledge, skills, um, expertise that you might need when you're entering the classroom again, uh, physical or virtual. And um, based on some feedback that we had, we did quite a large research study to find out what you were struggling with at the time uh, some months ago, but also what you thought what was going to be an issue for you when you return when or when your school returns in some shape or form now in September or whenever you go back. Uh, so based on that research, we've put together a whole host of resources and training for you. Um, it's at macmillanenglish.com slash back to school. Uh, so if you go to that website, you'll find these four pillars, four links for you to click on which are full of resources for you. Uh, one is based on uh, assessment. One is bridging the knowledge gap or bridging the skills gap. Uh, the third is learner independence. And the fourth, of course, is social and emotional support. So that's macmillanenglish.com slash back to school. Go and take a look. It's all there. It's all free and it's all for you. So. As I said um, earlier, this is uh, this is one of the pillars we're calling them of the of the back to school program that we're running. So social and emotional support. We've got lots of ideas, resources. Uh, as you can see at the bottom, we've got some storytelling with some teaching guidance, a virtual escape room. If you're intrigued, go and take a look. Uh, discussion groups and also uh, access to some scientific journal articles. So that's MacmillanEnglish.com slash back to school slash learner independence. So go and take a look at that. Um, also this week we launched a ready for any scenario um, program. 
is to help you using a Google course. Uh, you 